Hey everyone, it's Tom here from thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now I know a lot of the content on this channel focuses on online jobs for teens or side hustles for teenagers or ways younger people can make some extra money. But a lot of those ideas are more like side hustles or part-time gigs and so I got to thinking, what are some viable business ideas for teenagers that you can use to actually launch your own business? So today I'm covering seven different business ideas for teens that you can use to launch your own business and grow it throughout high school and as you go through college or your first job. Now, some of these ideas pay money immediately, while others will take a little bit longer to grow and get off of the ground, but in my opinion, there is never a better time to start than the present, so if you're having a little entrepreneurial itch and you want to start a business as a teenager, this is absolutely the video for you, so yeah, let's get right to it. All right, so for the first business idea for teens that I wanna talk about is actually clothing resale. But it's not just, you know, buying thrift store stuff and then selling it at a garage sale or anything like that. It actually involves launching your own Depop store. Now, Depop is a marketplace for buying and selling unique fashion finds. So in other words, it's kind of like Poshmark, but for outfits that are a little bit more out there. And so on Depop, you can make money selling menswear, women's wear, jewelry, accessory, you know, complete outfits, handbags, pretty much any kind of, you know, clothing or accessory you can think of, you can sell on Depop. And what I really like about Depop is that A, it's free to sell on Depop and the platform only takes a 10% fee from sales. So it's actually quite affordable. You don't have to pay monthly fees. You don't have to pay for your account or for your storefront or anything like that. You just upload the stuff you're selling to Depop and then if you make a sale, they take 10%. But why I wanted to mention Depop in a video about business ideas for teenagers is that Depop kind of has this like Instagram component to it where people can follow their favorite sellers. You can kind of make curated collections and show off to other people on Depop about your unique finds or what you've thrifted for the week. So it's kind of a bit more of a social platform, which is why I think teenagers would be good at using it and kind of you know feel right at home. And so really nothing's stopping you from finding some products at flea markets or thrift stores, maybe making your own alterations to clothing to make it even a little bit more unique, listing it on Depop and seeing if you can grow a following there and kind of turn that into your clothing resale business. Now you have to be 18 or older to sign up for Depop. So you're gonna need a parent or guardian or older sibling to open an account for you. So this is kind of a common theme with some online business ideas for teens. And that's you know something I've stressed before, like do not be, afraid to ask your parents or an older sibling for help because a lot of the time to use PayPal or Stripe or to open an online business somewhere, you're gonna need to be 18 or older, but that doesn't stop teenagers from selling. So don't be afraid to ask for help. And that had to be number one on the list of business ideas for teenagers. And the second business idea for teenagers involves opening your own Etsy store. Now, I know I've mentioned Etsy a lot on this channel because frankly, I think it's one of the cheapest ways to start selling online and the potential of the Etsy marketplace is just insane. I mean, if you sell on Etsy and your products actually rank organically on its marketplace, you can get consistent sales. And that's not something you'll always find if you just sell on eBay or Poshmark or those kinds of selling apps. And so with Etsy, you know, you can sell stuff like apparel, art, craft supplies, home goods, digital downloads, jewelry, toys, gifts. Those are some of the more popular categories you'll find on the marketplace. But again, what's really cool about Etsy is just the crazy potential of the platform. I mean, you sometimes find stories like this 19 year old Etsy seller who paid for her entire college tuition with her Etsy jewelry shop. And if you look at her store, she actually has over 19,000 sales. So she's made over 100K just by selling on Etsy. And this was basically while she was still in high school. Now again, you're gonna need a parent or guardian to open an Etsy shop with you, but in my opinion, selling on Etsy is one of the best online businesses for teenagers, especially if you're you know, kind of crafty and you like to make your own crafts or you make artwork, or you, you, know, you can even sell digital products like an ebook or stickers or planners, things like that. So yeah, Etsy, immense potential, that is the bottom line, and that's why I had to make the cut for this video on business ideas for teens. All right, and my third business idea for teenagers is to start a blog and YouTube channel. Now, I again have mentioned both of these side hustles a lot on this channel, and the main reason for that is because that is a significant bulk of my income. Blogging is how I make a lot of my income. YouTube is an income source I'm trying to grow in the next year or two, and while I've started this more recently, so in my mid 20s, I actually started my first blog back in high school and it was such an ugly blog. It was on Blogspot. I talked about recipes. I didn't know anything about SEO or web design or even writing really. I then started a second blog a few years later and it was like a failed Amazon affiliate website about headphones. It was also awful, terrible content, terrible design. It was not good. 
But eventually I started thisonlineworld.com in college and that now pays for all of my bills, all of my living expenses, and it only took two to three years for the blog to actually turn into a pretty considerable source of income. I then started a YouTube channel to kind of expand the blog and here we are, so welcome to the channel. But really the point of this for teenagers is that starting a blog or YouTube channel or both is just one of the most valuable practical ways to learn new skills. I mean, nothing else is gonna teach you web design, writing, copywriting, you know, marketing or just kind of growing an online business quite like starting a blog or YouTube. So I think if you don't need money immediately, but you're interested in learning some new skills and maybe leaving high school with an asset or two under your belt, blogging or YouTubing is absolutely the way to go. And again, you don't have to get all serious and make a blog about finance like I did or, you know, pick a topic you think is gonna make a lot of money. You can blog or make YouTube videos about content that interests you, you know, any hobby or interest you might have. I mean, my friend Daniel runs the blog Modern Teen, so his blog is just about teenagers and you're a teen, so nothing stops you from making content for teenagers or an audience you understand. You can do it about hobbies, sports, you know, entertainment. You can really do it about anything. So I have a ton of content on this channel and on my blog about picking a blog niche, you know, how to make money blogging, how to start a YouTube channel, all of that stuff. So definitely recommend checking that out if you're interested in this business idea. All right, and the fourth business idea for teenagers is starting a pet sitting and walking business and really this isn't anything crazy or revolutionary but it's a business model that's existed for a long time and it will continue to exist because people travel or people get busy with their daily lives and they're more than happy to pay teenagers oftentimes to take care of their pets and so if you like dogs I think a dog walking dog sitting business is really a natural fit and it's not very difficult to get started in the first place. I mean, you can list your services on the Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and just say, hey, here's who I am. I'm a teenager. I'm starting a dog sitting, dog walking business. I can walk your dogs X number of days per week for this amount of money, you know, maybe $15 an hour, maybe 20. You should probably look into some rates in your area so you're a little competitive. You can also try the good old fashioned putting, you know, flyers over town to advertise your business. And when you turn 18, you can actually sign up for Rover, which is basically a gig app that connects pet sitters and walkers with people who need help with their pets. Over time, you also have opportunities to expand this business. Like you can learn how to make dog treats and sell dog treats to people in your neighborhood. You can learn pet grooming and offer, you know, dog haircuts or pet grooming services and things like that. So I think this is a very, you know, kind of broad base to kind of think about how you can start a business as a teenager and how far you grow it or where you expand is ultimately up to you. So definitely wanted to include this one. And if you like dogs, it's definitely the one I recommend thinking about. All right, and so the fifth business idea for teenagers is to offer private tutoring to other students or people who need help learning a specific subject. Yeah, so this could be local tutoring, online tutoring. You can maybe offer tutoring to people at your very own school if they're struggling in a subject you're quite good at. But you can also take this a step further and actually launch a legitimate tutoring business. So a fellow YouTuber I know, and I, you know, someone who actually watches this channel is Alexa Madison. She has her own YouTube channel, so I definitely recommend checking it out. But Alexa actually put out a video sharing how she made over $100,000 by the time she turned 18 from her tutoring business. So Alexa actually started teaching people piano when she was only 10 years old. And from 10 to 18, this is how she grew her business. It made over $100,000. It's crazy. She has a video on her channel that you can check out, but I'm just gonna read a little excerpt from her description box where she kind of breaks down her journey. So Alexa says, when I was 12 years old, I started my own business. I posted on mailbox and made business cards. I failed for years trying to get customers to come to my business. At 14 years old, I built my own website with Wix, but I didn't do a great job advertising myself as a business and making money. At 15 years old, I finally figured out how to attract the right customers to my business and made some big changes with my website. In six months, I got 20 customers and by the end of the year, I made $20,000. At 16, I started an online store with Shopify and sold digital products and did drop shipping for hard copy books. At the end of that year, I made $35,000. At 17, I hit my maximum number of customers I could take on, raised my rates, and that year I made $65,000. So if you ask me, that's a pretty cool story of how you can start a business as a teenager. So Alexa started just a basic piano tutoring business where she taught kids piano. And then you slowly figure ways to scale your business. Like Alexa opened a Shopify store and sold digital downloads, so sheet music people could download. She sold you know, hard copy books through drop shipping. She then raised her freelancer rates or her tutoring rates and just made more money per client and made over $100,000 by the time she turned 18. So if that's not an awesome story of how you start a business as a teenager and make a crazy amount of money, I don't know what is, but definitely check out her channel. She makes some cool videos on teen entrepreneurship. Definitely recommend checking her out, but 
Her idea kind of inspired that point and I had to include it in this video on business ideas for teens. And idea number six for business ideas for teenagers is just to start a local service business. And this is kind of similar to that pet sitting and walking idea I mentioned, but really you can apply that idea to pretty much any kind of service like snow removal, painting, window cleaning, landscaping, you know, any kind of service people would probably be willing to pay for. If you can learn those skills and offer it to people in your neighborhood, that's a pretty easy way to make some money. My friends and I would do this actually every winter when we were younger, we'd go knock on doors and say, hey, we can shovel your driveway if you know you want to pay us 10 bucks or something. It wasn't crazy money and we didn't actually turn it into a legitimate business or anything, but really nothing stops you from actually you know, knocking on doors or getting to know people in your neighborhood or listing your services on Facebook or Craigslist and saying, hey, I've started this business. I can do you know this service for you at this rate. You, know, you learn the skills, maybe your parents can help you. Maybe this can be a business you run together. And next thing you know, maybe you have a few clients and you're making a few hundred dollars or thousand dollars per season and you've launched your own business. So another simple idea to consider, but really don't be afraid to start it because people are willing to pay for all kinds of things. And really a lot of this work is just manual labor, which you can learn pretty easily. And that's just about putting the work in to actually get paid. And idea number seven, and the last idea in this video on business ideas for teenagers is flea market selling. And this is basically flipping products for cash. And it's kind of similar to selling on Depop where you know you buy clothing, you alter it, and then you sell it on Depop. But this is a little bit broader and I like it because it kind of gets you down that retail arbitrage rabbit hole, which is honestly a really cool side hustle. It's something I've been itching to try for a long time because I've interviewed people who do retail arbitrage. I know a few people who do it and it's a pretty cool business model, especially when done at scale. And I think it's something teenagers can do as well. Anyways, the idea here is basically to buy popular products at a discount at places like flea markets or thrift shops, or even at stores like Walmart or Kohl's where you know you can kind of shop the clearance aisles and find some products at a discount and to then resell those popular items for a slight markup on websites like eBay, the Facebook marketplace, Mercari, Poshmark, or you know, even just at a garage sale, you eventually throw yourself. And so really the idea here is to find those popular products, like I mentioned, that sell quickly because you don't wanna be holding onto inventory forever, but this could be things like books, apparel, electronics, collectibles, toys, video games. You have some kind of common categories that retail arbitrage sellers really gravitate towards. And when in doubt, just look on Amazon, check the product you're selling. If it sells well on Amazon and has a lot of reviews and a high order volume, then you know you probably found something that's gonna sell pretty quick. Now, the real downside of this business idea for teens is that it just takes some starting capital to get off of the ground. So you're gonna need, you know, at least let's say 50 to 100 bucks to buy a few products and then to then resell them. It also might take time for you to get your first sales. So this is something where if you need money immediately, I probably would go with a service-based business instead rather than, you know, flea market flipping. But I think it is one of those cool businesses you can scale over time. I have a friend who runs an eBay store. He makes 500 to $1,000 per month. And so, yeah, retail arbitrage is just kind of one of those weird side hustles where it's, you know, the sky is actually the limit. Some people do it full time and make millions of dollars. Some people make no money. It's quite interesting to me. So I wanted to include it in this video. But again, if you need money immediately, maybe stay away from this one. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Those are seven different business ideas that are teenage friendly and that you can start today. Like I mentioned, some of them are going to require working with a parent or guardian or older sibling to kind of get the online payment bit sorted out, but there are some in-person business ideas as well that you can use so you can deal in cash. You don't have to worry about, you know, being under 18. And so really guys, if there's one last thing I want to stress is that there is an immense amount of potential out there. And that's kind of why I threw in a few stories about really successful teenage entrepreneurs, because there's just so much potential out there. And really the only way to actually get it is to start now and to put in the work. Really, there's nothing wrong with starting a business as a teenager and making no money. Like I did that all the time. I had blogs that failed. I had a bunch of different side hustles that failed. And it's really the learning that you get from that and the iterative process of, you know, testing out a business idea, going through the motions, failing and kind of, you know, learning from your mistakes that eventually will find something that clicks for you and that makes a lot of money or teaches you skills that, you know, land an awesome job or serve you later in life. So of course we all like to make money. I hope you find a business idea in this video that you start and you make money, you know, starting tomorrow, but no stress if you don't. The whole point of this is just to try different things, to figure out what you like and don't like, and to learn some new skills that are going to serve you for years to come. So if there's one takeaway from this video, it's really that learning is all part of this. And I think you learn by doing so yeah, pick a business idea and have at it. Anyways, guys, that's all for this one. I hope you've enjoyed. You can leave a, a like or a comment if you did. Sorry for the little absence from YouTube, but I'm right back to it. And yeah, more videos coming soon, so be sure to stick around. I hope you all have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to visit thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money. I'll catch you guys in the next one.